Why Dave sends jokes and stories here again, 9-1-2020. Well, this is funny, crazy, inventions, comedy. <laughs> so, these are some funny, crazy inventions that I came up with that will probably never be out on the market, but they'd be crazy if they really were, if they really did, someone did, really did invent them. I don't know if anybody would buy them, but here they go. Here's some of them. Um, could you imagine, you know how we wear our face masks and stuff, you know, on our face right now during the coronavirus? Well, what if they had a face mask birdcage, <clears throat> like this round birdcage mask that's like in the shape of a birdcage, like Tweety Bird's cage or whatever, where a bird could like stay in there and like, you could like feed it and everything, have like a, like a birdcage in there or a hamster cage mask or a bird's cage mask. Or what if you had like a, like where you could have like an animal in, in your mask that you're wearing that you could walk around with and you could jog with, like instead of a dog, you could just jog with your hamster or your bird in your birdcage. <laughs> Or what if they had like a bird feeder mask? You know where you have like this bird feeder and it's like on your face and you got like bird seed in your mouth and stuff and the birds come and peck it out of your mouth like the like the uh, <laughs> like the hummingbirds come around flying around or what are robins or or, or uh, blackbirds or whatever come and get the bird bird seed out of your mouth and you get on your face this big old bird house you know hanging on your face and um like you're walking around feeding the birds like it's kind of takes the pigeon woman's job out of business, you know, the one that feeds the pigeons, you know. <laughs> she could get something like that, and she could feed the pigeons with this with this bird, with this birdhouse on her face, you know. And, like, you'd have, probably have to wear a tarp because the birds would be pooping on you all the time, fluttering around, pooping on you. So you'd probably have to wear, like, a tarp or something. But you could walk around being a walking human bird birdhouse or a walking human bird um bird bird cage or bird or a hamster cage or something you know you could you could just do that wouldn't it be crazy if someone invented something like that or what if someone invented like a like a clock mask like where you have a clock like uh like say for instance a like grandfather clock like where you have this miniature grandfather clock with a cuckoo bird that comes out of your mouth and comes out and goes cuckoo 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 <laughs> and uh it's like made out of pez it's like the pez candy like you can like eat it like the the cuckoo bird whenever you're done with the mask you know just grandfather clock mask just eat the, the cuckoo bird when you're done with the clock that tells time during the day you want another mask just eat the bird or maybe it's made out of chicken and it's not pez it's made out of chicken you could eat it like chicken <laughs> or something like that you know or you can have like cuckoo bird on a stick or something you know like corn dogs like like a corn cuckoo bird dog <laughs> or something like that. Wouldn't well, that be crazy if people invented stuff like that? Wouldn't well, that be crazy? <laughs> or what if like, I mean, you could like look in the mirror, like if you need to, if you don't have a watch or anything, you could just go to work or, or wherever you're at and go in the mirror in the bathroom and look and there's the time tells the time. And if it happens to be on the hour, you see that cuckoo bird coming in and out and <laughs> coming in and out of your mouth. <laughs> but this is just some crazy some crazy some funny crazy inventions and this is a comedy so if anyone ever invents these and they go big don't forget about the little man here david here david stanton david stanton because uh i don't think anybody will ever do this but you never know so this is some of the funny crazy inventions comedies that i came up with so if you invent this, then you got to be funny and crazy just like me. So hopefully you like this and press subscribe, press the bell, get my videos, like, share, tell your friends about me. I'm just all around great, good guy. I love Jesus and he loves you too. He's a, he loves you so much. I'm a Christian. I'm a, I'm a preacher, comedian, whatever you want to call me. Just storyteller, singer sometimes. And check out my channel. I think you'll like it. So I like to make you laugh and make to tell you about Jesus. I preach on Sundays. If you like to subscribe, you get my sermons on Sundays and try I haven't missed one yet and I've been on it since probably March or or maybe or a little after that. I'm not sure how long I've been on here, but I've been doing a sermon ever since. So hopefully this meant this uh made you laugh and uh I hope it did and and if you want to put anything in the comments you can tell me what you think if and just check out my channel i think you like it i've got a lot of good stuff on here well i guess it's good if you think it is i've got some subscribers that i care about i thank you all for subscribing to me and the viewers too i love you all in christ and i'm praying for you all and even the ones that view and like and even the ones that just view I'm still praying for you I love you all i don't have to subscribe if you don't want but if you do go ahead you know um just check out my channel i think you'll like it i do a lot of comedy of impersonations of presidents and singers and actors and um you know, just kind of some clean comedy for the 
for the kiddos and for myself and because I'm a Christian. I love Jesus and he loves you too. And we can, I can tell you about him if you want to know about him. Check out my sermons. It'll tell you about him too. Get to know him. He loves you. Jesus loves you. United too in Christ. And um, I even talk about hackers on here. How to get the hackers. Keep the hackers from, from hacking you. You know, some of the hackers that have hacked me in the past. And just some singing, some comedy, some preaching, some storytelling, some stuff I made up. Bubba and Tank's Prison Escapes. You might check that out. It's kind of funny. <laughs> but hope you all like this. And Jesus loves you, United too. And have a great day. Bye-bye.